morning, everybody. I would just like to give a special shout out to all the mothers, and I welcome everybody. Yes, yes. But welcome to today's Sunday service, and let's just have fun. Today, uh, Lyric will be doing today's announcements. Youth choir, Youth choir rehearsal by scheduled for the first and second Saturday of the month at 12 a.m. 11 a.m. Youth program will begin on the first and second Saturday of the month to 12 to 12 to 2 p.m. Adult choir rehearsals every Saturday at 12 p.m. Bible study is held on Wednesdays at 12 noon. Come join us. Don't forget to visit us on our website and Instagram. And remember to sh like and share the videos and posts. The new discipleship class is in full effect. For more information about Let's Grow, contact Leona Sims at leonasims at gmail.com or just show up. Calling all members and friends of Sunnyside, we need your help with the food program. We want more volunteers to help support this youth important ministry. We need volunteers on Thursdays at 12 noon to help bag the food and volunteers for prayers and to wait to pass the food, to pass out the food, sign up or show up. We need your help. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lyric. Um, I just wanted to add a couple additional announcements. Um, one, um, it says here, but um, next Saturday, May 20th, is the youth closing event in Cotillion. Um, it's actually at uh, 1230. We will still be doing the food giveaway, but we're going to divide and conquer um, with that. But we would really just like everyone's support um, in coming out and supporting our youth um, with this. So please come and just show your support for this event. It'll be in the fellowship hall downstairs. And then um, we have a couple of cards um, for Deacon Phillips that'll be in the foyer to be signed after. Um, so please sign those. And if um, there's no further announcements, um, then I will be calling up Tyler. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So today, Tyler and I will be tasked with doing our call to worship. So I want all of us to support Tyler as this is his very first time. He said he was nervous, but we all know Tyler ain't nervous about too much or nothing. All right, so Tyler, you want to help us out today? Can you want to get us in the, the spirit of worship today, Tyler? Yes. All right, so say good morning. Good morning. We now recite. We now recite. We now recite. I call to worship. I call to worship. And it reads. And it reads. I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad. let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem, for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Amen. Good job. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. None of us here would be here without a mother, so we are grateful to God for the mothers that allowed, that he allowed to be used to birth us. Amen. Amen. 
And so we want to give God praise, glory, honor, because he gave it all when he gave his son Jesus. Amen.
God has been so gracious and so kind and merciful to us. We have a special treat on this morning. We have uh, Kelly, Kelly Kane, who will be blessing us and leading in the midst of it all. This song, the words are powerful, the lyrics are powerful. I'm sure every person, mother, father, sister, brother, we all can look back and think in the midst of in the midst of it all that he kept me Jesus nobody but Jesus kept me amen when I thought I was going to lose my mind Jesus kept me so let this song minister to you Thank you. 
Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um, today's scripture comes from 1 Samuel um, chapter 1, verse 20 to 23. Anna do And in due times, she gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. The next year, O'Connor and his family went on their annual trip to offer a sacrifice to the Lord and to keep his vow. But Hannah did not go. She told her husband, wait until the, ba the boy is weaned, then I will take him to the tabernacle and leave him there with the Lord permanently. Whatever you think is best, Elkanah agreed. Stay, stay here for, stay here for now and may the Lord help you keep your promise. So she stayed home until, and nursed the boy until he was weaned. May the, may God bless the reader and and hearers of his word. Amen. I guess it would help if I had the mic on. Uh, so we have our younger children coming with their song, and it's simple but powerful. I often talk about um, the Bible, and some things are very deep, but some things are very simple. But just because they're simple, they don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're easy. But this song is something that applies to them and to us, amen, regardless of age, regardless of where you are in your walk, Regardless of where you come from, sometimes we just have to shake the devil off. Not sometimes, all the time. We got to shake the devil off. Let me, let me correct that.
I know you guys see me a lot, right? I'm always doing something, right? That's because I just say yes. So, you know, if I'm asked, I'm going to say yes because it's for the Lord. Amen. He's just looking for our yes. It doesn't have to be as many times as I say yes, but it should be a yes that you have in your spirit. Amen. To do something for the Lord because he's done so much for us. Amen. Amen. But I am here to pray on this morning. And um, in the bulletin, it says Mother's Day edition. And uh, Dominique said, oh, you have to do a Mother's Day edition. Well, I have a Mother's Day edition because I'm grateful to God for the mother that he gave me. The biological mother, the mother figures, uh, those that have come alongside me to help and mother me. And those that he's giving me, the three that he's birthed through me, uh, for me to mother. And then for those of you here that have birthed children who have come alongside to be relative caregivers for children. There are so many mothers, mother figures, adoptive mothers, foster mothers, surrogate mothers that are out there that impact our lives, that have impacted our lives, that impact our children's lives. And we want God to just bless them and their seed and all that their hands have done on behalf of children, amen? Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you, we do praise you, and we do glorify you. For this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, it is a special day. It is a day that we honor mothers, Lord. And we know that without mothers, none of us would be here. And we have those that still are fortunate enough, are blessed enough to have their mothers here with them. And then there are those of us whose mothers have gone on to be with you, Lord. And sometimes, you know, that burden is heavy when Mother's Day rolls around. So I'm praying right now for those, Lord, that are grieving the loss of a mother. And I'm asking that you will just make up the balance, that you will be that which they need, Lord, and that you will send the body of Christ to be whatever else they need, Lord. So we just thank you right now for all that is done by mothers, Lord. Sometimes the load is heavy and the road is long, but through Christ, we can do everything. So we want to give you power, we want to give you glory and honor, and we want to just thank you for all that you have done, all that you continue to do, and all that you will do, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, we ask that you would just bless this day immensely for all mothers and mother figures, Lord, that it will be the blessed day that you intended for it to be, that there will be no weapon formed against them that will be able to prosper. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, church. This is the time that we take out a moment to give back to God some of the blessings that we have received. So if all of you would stand for a moment, and then we can do our, offer, our offertorial sentence together. Ready? Begin. We'll give. We'll also read sparingly. We'll give generously. We'll also read generously. Each man to give what he decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves the cheerful giver, and God will make great all grace to you unto you, so that every things and all times you will abound in every good work. Would you follow the directions of the ushers, please? Remain standing.
shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we like to thank you for these blessings that we have received. We ask that you manifest it and continue the work of the Lord here on earth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning again. So um, at this time, we just wanted to share with the church um, a clip, a recap of our recent nature retreat. Uh, so they're going to, I haven't seen it yet either, so I'm wondering what it looks like too. Um, but we had a great time, and most of all, the youth had a great time. Um, so I think that was um, the biggest part. Um, we grew together, we learned, um, and we had fun. So we can watch the video all together. <laughs> Oh, I'm way too excited, bro. I'm just ready to go zip lining, bro. I'm ready to go paper on, bro. My fault, sorry. <laughs> thank you, Multimedia team, for uh, the video, and thank you for all the parents, guardians who allowed your children to come on this trip. We definitely want to make this an annual thing and keep it going, so more videos to come. Um, let's give them a round of applause again for the video. <clears throat> Um, next up, um, for Mother's Day, I'm going to ask our youth to go ahead and grab your special items. Um, and they're going to do a presentation to their mothers um, that are here, or even if they're not here, and just say some special words um, for their mothers. Um, because they appreciate them so much. And while they're grabbing that, I just wanted to give a big thank you to those who put on the breakfast this morning. So Deacon Glover, Kai, all the planning committee. Um, it was very nice, and we appreciate your efforts. And we do know Father's Day is in June, so. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll go down the line. So, Miss Crystal, can we call you up, please? <laughs> This is for you. Thank, thank you for everything you do for me, and I'm grateful to have you as my mom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Miss Carmen. <laughs> and then we could just slide on the side. You guys could go back to your seat, yeah. So, thank you, because you are my Care Bear, and I love you. You're a good mom. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> And I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Mama, this is for you because you are the best mom. And I love you. Um, this one is for my grandma. She's not here, but she's been a mom to me and all her kids. Come on, Taylor. <laughs> um, your mom's not here, but she can watch it on the recording, so you can say some words to her, okay? If it wasn't for my mom, I would be here. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and Tyler made it a point that his balloon had to say, best mom ever. So <laughs> he had to have that balloon. So not only is it their Mother's Day, it's their mom's birthday today, too. Um, so you can say some words for her. Okay. Um, I'm going to give this to my granny, actually, uh, because we, honestly, come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this one to my mom. She's not here. She's at church, and today is her birthday too, also. So I'm gonna say happy birthday to her. Oh, and happy Mother's Day to everybody here who's a mother. Um, last but not least. Uh, my mother, please come up here. <laughs> While you're walking, I'm going to start. Uh, I appreciate you always watching my kids. <laughs> um, I have truly felt a different sense of respect and appreciation after becoming a mother myself. So I love you and I appreciate you. And then, um, here's your cat. I also, um, I know her as auntie, but we call her um, Sister Lloyd or um, whatever you might call her, but Auntie Deborah, I'm also presenting one to you because you have been there for us always since we were born and for our kids, kids. So <laughs> thank you and we love you. <laughs> and at this time, um, all the additional, oh, Lyric, come on. Grab one. And all the additional mothers, please raise your hands because we're going to go out and pass out um, ones for everyone, too. But Lyric, come on. You get to get on the mic, too. No sis. Come on, Sharon. <laughs> Okay, and for all the mothers here, um, whether biologically or not, um, we thank you for your sacrifices, we thank you for your care and everything.
and the love that you continue to show day to day. Um, so the youth will now pass out um, our tokens of appreciation to all of you. Um, thank you. <laughs> Oh, we could get some background. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jules. I'm going to bring you the mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't want the mic. But Mama, just the sweetest, kindest, most generous, forgiving, patient, loving, and silliest mother in the world. So says your favorite. <laughs> Mommy, you've been the best inspiration of my life. Greatest example, you don't curse, you don't drink, you don't smoke. All the greatest examples. <laughs> I tell everybody that. But no, I just, wanted, I just want you to know I appreciate you for my life and my existence. And FYI, if y'all really love y'all moms, y'all give her push gift. <laughs> um, so... Um, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Thank you, Mom. Don't cry. I'm trying to make you cry, though. Cry. No, I'm just kidding. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And I'm, I'm just in a spot back here. <laughs> You already know how I feel about you. I love you. You're the, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me explain then. She is the most kindest person you can ever meet. Mind you, this is the lady that can curse you out without cursing. <laughs> she's, she's the perfect example of what a mom should be and what a mom sh is supposed to be to her kids. She loves us deeply and unconditionally throughout all our faults. And I love you, I love you, and I love you. Aww. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did all the ladies get rose, flower, candle? Yes, okay, let's give all our mothers a round of applause, please. Okay, we got one more back there, okay. Um, I'm going to work my way um, back there. So, mothers, we thank you. We love you. Um, I'll have the youth uh, come back up because they're going to sing um, a second song. Um, but thank you, you. They put this together. They did the arrangements, the flowers, and um, everything. So, um, we appreciate them doing that as well. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're going to have the young youth choir come do a song by Jonathan Reynolds called No Gray Area. And I want to give a shout out to the two women in my life. I want to give a shout out to my mother for bringing me in the world. And I want to give a shout out to my grandmother for raising me ever since I can remember anything.
Thank you. Um, and thank you for our singers. I really appreciate you guys. And you, you did a great job. They're working on new songs and things that resonate with them. And they're doing a lot of the selecting. So I appreciate that. And thank you all for singing and um, praising God in that way. Um, at this time, if we could just go to the Lord in prayer. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this time. Please calm um, my nerves, my spirit, and just let me deliver whatever it is that you have put in my heart to deliver. And let it reach whoever it is meant to reach. In your name, amen. Amen. So the scripture today... Um, was fitting was about Hannah. Hannah was, as the Bible says, um, her womb was closed, which means she was not allowed to have children. Her husband actually had two wives. That was back in the day when it was legal. So um, his other wife had a lot of children, but her husband loved her greatly and always would give her extra portions and extra just love and never faulted her for not being able to bear a child. Um, on Mother's Day, the scripture is fitting about that story, but the part I want to focus on is where it says, may the Lord help you keep your promise. And as the story goes on, Hannah was praying so desperately on their time where they would take a yearly trip to the tabernacle to pray and give sacrifices. She was pay praying so desperately for a child that the priest, Eli, at the time thought she was drunk because she was so distraught. And I call that an outward plea to God, where you physically can see someone's suffering, someone's pain, someone's anguish. And in her physical outward plea to God, Eli came and said, may your desires of your heart be granted. But Hannah had promised that if she had a child, she would dedicate that child to God. Now, after you want a child for so long to have a child and then to physically have to give that child back up must have been very painful. And I think that's part of the story maybe we don't really spend as much time on is how that sacrifice was. Her promise was that if you allow me to have a child, I will give him back to you, not only spiritually, but physically. And it also says that she waited until the boy was weaned, which means she nursed him. He was close to her. She had daily relationship with that. And then she had to give him back to God. But in the same way, when we give ourselves back to God, we are not losing. And that's what I got from the story is that she was joyful. She was happy. She praised God that she was able to give her child as a sacrifice to God. In the same way, when we are raising children, mentoring children, or leading children, sometimes it might hurt us. As my mama say, when she whooped me, these hurt me more than you. But you have to make a sacrifice so that you can navigate them in the right direction so that they could go on God. So sometimes it might hurt you, but you are their protector. You are supposed to make sure that you are guiding them to God. We are all God's children. So in the same way, we need to sacrifice our whole lives to God in that way. We need to make sure that we give our entire self as a sacrifice to God and that our life is not ours, but it is God's. So the first point that I felt so important was that her husband said, he's the one who told her, may you do whatever your heart leads you to do and may the Lord help you keep your promise. Having supportive people around you and the strength of that, just as a father is half of that child, her husband, that was his child too, but he allowed her to do what he knew God was telling her to do. He did not judge her for it. He did not try to stand in the way. He did not try to detour her. He just said, do what it is that God has you to do, and may he give you strength to keep the promise. That goes to our relationships with our family, with our friends, the ones we surround ourselves with. Sometimes when we go through struggles or we go through trials or tribulations and we have the wrong people around us, 
It can detour us. It can knock us off of our track. But when we have people who we don't have to justify why I'm doing this because God told me to, because God led me to change jobs, God led me to change my career, God led me to stop doing drugs or stop drinking, I need people around me who will understand that God is the center of my life and not judge me for it. That people will understand that I might not be who I used to be, but they will uplift me and keep me centered into what God has as for me, that they will say, may God help you keep your promise that you made to God, the commitment that you made, because that's between you and God. And as a true friend in Christ, I understand that and I support you and I will do nothing to detour you from that. The second point is new blessings, new blessings don't always make us forget past hurt. The scripture goes on to say, Hannah was blessed with three sons and two daughters, which means she had more children. But it also says that every year when she went to the tabernacle, she made a robe for her son Samuel that she gave to Christ. Back in that day, I had to do some research and they had to actually make their own thread. So can you imagine how long it took to make a robe? It probably took the whole year that she did it, which means every single day the child that she left was on her mind, that although she has five more children, the one that she left is on her mind. The same way is that when we go through storms, and the, Kirk Franklin has a song, right? The storm is over now. But when the storm is over, you might be better, but better does not always mean it's easy. Because in the storms, that's when we have our outward cry, that's when we're pleading, that's when people can come to us. But what about the day to day after, after we were baptized, after we committed to church, after we joined groups, but they don't see my struggle internally that the past life I had is more familiar than the new one in front of me, that each day I'm trying to stay on track, but I'm struggling. Those are what I call the internal struggles that nobody sees, those internal struggles that God has blessed me in so many ways, but Lord, I'm still hurting because at night, the thoughts keep running in my mind of what happened to me, how people hurt me, and what I've been through. And in those times, I think of Hannah, because although she made a robe, she made it in a joyous way. It was a gift that although I had to sacrifice something, I'm gaining more because I gave you to Christ. So I will give you a present, just like I give God my praise that you brought me through something and allowed me to grow from things that we might have went through. But in those times, those day-to-day -day times, I do feel it's a warning because that's when the enemy likes to play with our mind. Usually late at night or sometimes when we're tired or sleepy, that's when your mind can wander. When we're in daylight are just going through our tasks, the mind is a muscle. We know how to exercise it and how to control it. But at night when you're resting, that's when the enemy can poke at you and poke at you and say, you're not good enough. You're not going to change. You're going to go back to how things were. Don't forget about what you lost. But the Lord is saying, but look forward. Don't look backward. But we need to stay in prayer night and day with him so that we can stay on that leads me to the next point of our lives are not our own, and that's exactly where we started off with, that a gift from God is our life, and we need to use them wisely. Samuel went on to be one of the greatest leaders of Israel. Not only did he anoint Saul, he anointed King David. And we all know the great things that King David did and how he went on to rule the nations and all the descendants from there on. So if Hannah would have never had the strength to give her sacrifice, then Samuel would have never been who he was meant to be, and all those after them would never be who they were meant to be. So sometimes our sacrifice isn't even about us, but it's so that God's great vision can come to life, and that we're just a piece of his vision. But sometimes in our selfishness and our not wanting to cooperate, we actually are messing up God's plan, not just for ourselves, but for his plan in the world, for life, for his whole purpose to come true. So today, I just want to give everyone the charge of when we made a sacrifice for God, when we chose to give our lives to God, renew that. Give yourself the time to go back and find strength in everything that he told you to do. Better does not always mean easy. You will sometimes remember past hurt. But just as Hannah rejoiced, let us continue to rejoice in the strength that God gives us. 
And Hannah had a prayer that I read several times, but I never really noticed the words. I'm going to call Maya and Mariah up here. Um, they're going to help me read the prayer. But really listen to these words, because this is what she prayed after she just gave up her son. And if she can rejoice in the Lord like that at this time, I think that we all have reason to rejoice in the Lord at our times. Thank you, Dominique. Um, so we're going to be reading Hannah's prayer of praise. My heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have an answer for my enemies. I rejoice because you rescued me. No one is holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Stop acting so proud and what is that? haughty. Don't speak with such arrogance, for the Lord is a God who knows what you have done. He will judge your actions. The bow of the mighty is now the bow of the mighty is now broken, and those who stumbled are now strong. Those who were well fed are now starving, and those who were starving are now full. The childless women now has seven children, and the woman with many children wastes away. The Lord gives both death and life. He brings them down to the grave, but raises others up. The Lord makes them poor and others rich. He brings some down and lifts others up. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among pri princes, pricing them in seats of honor, for all the earth is the Lord's, and he has set the world in order. He will protect his faithful ones, but the wicked will disappear in darkness. No one will succeed by strength alone. Those who fight against the Lord will be shattered. He thunders against them from heaven. The Lord judges throughout the earth. He gives power to his king. He increases the strength of his anointed one. Thank you. So in closing, I would advise you guys to read that prayer again for yourselves as well as a remembrance because the key word in there is find your strength in the Lord. So whatever you go through, whatever you've been through, and whatever part of your journey with Christ you're on, just continue to find your strength in the Lord continually every single day. Thank you. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dominique, for that word. Thank you, guys. Y'all look so good out there. I've been looking this way the whole time. How y'all feeling? Good, good, good. Thank you to our mothers, and, and God bless you all. But um, let us not forget why we come here and commune together every week. Um, it's like going to a gas station. And, and if you know anything about automobiles, you know that eventually that fuel is going to run out. So um, although we're here to celebrate mothers, although we're here to um, praise and worship, we're also here to, to invite someone to know who Jesus Christ is. We're here to make sure that the gospel is getting out and that everyone that, that hears can know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died and, and he was buried and he got up on the third day so that we can have an opportunity to live again, so that we can have the faith like Hannah to know that God gave me a promise and that I'm going to continue to strive for that promise because God's word will never return void. So as we're standing today, I want to ask us to just get in a place where we're focused solely on Jesus Christ. And for those of you who know Jesus, we know this is the time where we can invite the Holy Spirit to come in and make a major move on behalf of God. Yeah. But for those of you who don't know who Jesus is and you just happen to come in the church today or you've been coming consistently and you say, okay, now I really want to just open my heart to, to being saved. Because that's what it's really about, church. Can we be clear? It's about saving lives from hell and damnation. And if you're here today and you're not saved, and you want to be saved, you want to go to heaven, you want to, to be a part of this Christian walk, we open the doors of the church right now for anyone who may want to meet Jesus here today on 94th and Butt Long. Is there anyone today? There's room at the cross for you. 
Is there anyone who'd like to give their life to Jesus Christ today? Well, maybe you don't want to give your life to Christ today, but you want to be a part of a, a, a fellowship, a part of a church, a part of a family. We want to open the doors to Sunnyside Church right now. If you would like to join our fellowship and join what's going on here on this corner, we open the doors of the church right now. Amen. 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 And last but not least, maybe you, you're, you're saved. Maybe you have a, a church home. This may be your church home. This may not be your church home. But you just need prayer. And you want to touch and agree with this. You want to touch and agree with believers who believe in power, who believe in, in, in miracles, who believe in signs and wonders. If that's you today and you need some prayer, whether it be for an ailment in your body, whether it be for a family member, whether it be for yourself, a, a financial blessing, a, a mental blessing, a, a breakthrough with a job, whatever the case may be. Right now, let us touch and agree with you that we go on behalf of our Father and we petition on your behalf. And we shake up the heavens and we ask the angels to come around and, and fight on your behalf today. If that's you today, please come down. For you. There is room. Amen. Amen. I um, also want to specifically for any mothers who have, have lost children, anyone who may have lost a mother, anybody who this a day of excitement, but it's a day of pain and a day of grief. In a day of sadness, I think about my grandmother that I will call on Mother's Day. That's if that's you today, you need some assistance, you need some strength, you need some joy because the joy that used to come on this day is no longer. If you want to come today and we help strengthen you in Jesus' name, I thank you, thank you. Thank you, because I feel that one. Because everybody don't get to enjoy this day like some of us. But I want you to tell you, it don't matter if it's Mother's Day. It don't matter if it's Father's Day. It don't matter if it's Christmas. We got to understand that we are borrowed by those individuals that, that we come through. Our mother and our father, we're borrowed. And as much as we, we have love for that person, as much as we have, have so much connection to that person they were a vessel by the ultimate father and the ultimate God which is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus that we first remember that all of our strength and all of our being come from our father in heaven I want us to be reminded today that we can do all things through Jesus Christ who give us strength and that's going through tough times and tough situations. That's going through trials and tribulations. That's going through pain and sorrow. With Jesus Christ, we can get through it all. And with a community, with the church, with all of us together on agreement, knowing that we're going to love each other through our trials. We're going to love each other through our problems. We're going to love each other through our pain. If we do that together, then we're going to build a community of strength and love and harmony and joy. So, Lord, we thank you right now for being with us today who are down and being with us today who have been grieved and being with us today who remember what used to be God but that's no longer but let us be reminded and remember that you are still on the throne you are still God you are still mighty you are still strong you still have all power in your hand and you got the power to heal us you got the power to strengthen our mind you got the power to help us with our guilt you got the power to help us with those things that we felt we may not have gotten done and it just happened too soon or we just didn't get it out Lord, we thank you because you have forgiven us and you gave us that moment with our loved ones. You gave us that time with our loved ones. You gave us that, that memory that's inside of us that we can go on with, God. Lord, we thank you today. We ask that any pain and any sickness that's going on in our people, that you heal it, God, that you remove all diseases out of our bodies, God, that you, you heal our minds, God, and you just continue to keep us, Lord. Lord, we need you to keep us, Lord. And we thank you today. We thank you today. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Can we give God a hand clap, y'all? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is room at the cross just for you. Amen, amen. Y'all, can we clap our hands one more time? Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Again, y'all, it, 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 if y'all could see what I'm seeing, man, it's such a beautiful sanctuary in here today. It's the, I don't know if it's the balloons or y'all faces. <laughs> amen, amen. Can we clap it up for our word today? You know, I, um, it's been, we're talking about mothers today, man, and it's, it's, it's something seeing someone who said they would never do something, do it so gracefully and so efficiently and with such truth. It's like a light switch come on. And since 2019, that light switch been on full throttle. Hallelujah. And I've been watching my wife be an amazing, yep. when I say amazing, I mean an amazing <laughs> mother. I, um, I'm grateful for everything she does. And, and the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Mom, I thank you for being an amazing mother. All right. I thank, I thank my sister-in-law for being an amazing mother, y'all. When I tell you I was blessed with a real village, it is, I count my blessings every single day. I really do. And when the enemy try to, when you get settled, and mess with your mind and have you think about what used to be or where you come from and you ain't from LA. I just, I literally just walk outside y'all and I step on the, the street where I live at and I just look. I see a driveway with vehicles, two that are paid for, one that's being paid for. I see a home, I see a beautiful yard I see a community of, of, of one phone call away if I need to take my child and drop them off, which I don't necessarily want to all the time. It's just, I don't know how y'all used to work, Pops, way back in the day, but boy, they working us right now, y'all. It's like everything's nonstop. And that along with raising kids, like, man, I'm grateful for the mother of my children and her mother and her sister. And I'm also grateful for my mother, who was a really, 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 really good mother. Great mother. Four kids by 24, three at 21. She's crazy. <laughs> she crazy. <laughs> but um, happy Mother's Day, all the way in Folston, Georgia, to my mom and, and my sisters. And thank y'all so much. I'm gonna stop talking. Time well spent. Doc, you wanna finish this up? Thank y'all so much. Can we clap it up for our pastor, y'all? First of all, I want to just thank God for all of you here, but especially, where's Bushan? And, uh, yeah, Kai, come, come, come out the audio booth and come to the edge of the balcony. These brothers, mothers, did you eat this morning? You didn't want to come to church. down there sipping your cider and we had to tell you it's church time y'all <laughs> thank you brothers you did a great job with me thank you very much Amen. and for all the mothers of the church we did not forget you we did not forget you sister Vaughn, sister Carrie, sister Brooks that hold this church up sister Pat yeah. welcome back Sister Pat, sister passed away, and she's been in Louisiana for the last two weeks. So we, you got back last night. Okay, amen. 
Amen. Sister Deborah, we appreciate all of you. And then I, I, I want to invite you. Um, some of you don't know that the mental health seminars are going on on Thursday evenings. Oh, you all are missing something. Everybody that's on the church leadership, I'm telling you, you got to come. You have to come. Um, it is way, way farther, way more than I thought it would ever be. But he's going into how we act like we act. And this week is important because it's about young people. Yes. Older people, if you don't understand young people like I do sometimes, come on. Younger people who think you got it together, come on. Young mothers especially who don't know how to be mothers. And, and, and Brother Norris was right. That child said she didn't want no children. She wasn't going to raise no children. And, and you can't keep her away from I dare you to touch her children. <laughs> it's something raising children yes, in this day and yes. this time. You got a lot against you. And the church is here to help you. And God is here to help you. Amen. Amen. And, and before I, I give the mic to close, visitors. Do we have any visitors today? Please stand up. Happy Mother's Day, everybody, to all the mothers, the queens, and hell. Uh, my name is Curtis Martin. I'm from Chicago. Uh, this beautiful lady right here, uh, I was going through something this morning. It's crazy how stuff happened. I was going through something. This beautiful lady you know, invited me to church. Um, I need it to have everything. It's a blessing to be here. And thank you again for all your queens. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Courtney. Um, I'm in a program with my friend Bill, and he invited me to come to church today. The sermon was powerful. Thank you, Dominique. Um, I'm greatly appreciative of everything that you guys have done, and happy Mother's Day to everyone. Hi, my name is KK. I came with my son, Din Din, and the twins invited me to church, and thank you guys. Amen. 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 You notice they were all young folks. Amen. Amen. I told you the church is growing. The church, this is a new church. I sat in the middle of the church today and I was pastoring galore. I think I'm going to pastor from the middle of the church from now on. And let them do what they do. Amen. Amen. And what part of Chicago are you from, bro? Out west? West side? D Douglas Park. That's where you're born at. We got to talk. Amen. Amen. Praise God for the service. Praise God for all that he does. Blessings. Uh, Dominique, get on. I know you don't like doing this part, but get on up here. Yes. Beautiful sermon. Give back to God. Not to get something, but give back to God because he deserves it, because he's worthy. And boy, you'll get a blessing, you unbelievable. This is my blessing. Those are my blessings in the back. I love you dearly. God gave me two trophies, and I love them both dearly. Amen. Take us out, preacher. As we depart today, I ask for covering over all the lives here. I ask for strength and guidance with anything anyone's going through. Be with us during this day, during this week, and just let us remember to find our strength in you, Lord. Amen. Let us stand now unto you that is able to keep us from falling. Unto you, the only true and wise God. Unto you who loves us in spite of ourselves. Unto you be glory and honor forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Give God some glory. Amen. Greet your neighbor. Hug him like you love him.